Hello everyone, thanks for watching. Um, this is Sales by Sarah. Um, today is April 20th of 2020. It's a Monday, so I have a lot of things going out today. I wanted to show you what I'm shipping out today. The first item I have is this Cinderella um, little figurine. She is a Disney. See that? Made in Japan. Um, you know, not fancy, but this is one of those examples of things that you're gonna just you're gonna want to research everything. I try to research everything if it has a brand or I can tell it's a specific pattern <clears throat> or whatever because you just don't know. This isn't a big sale by any stretch of the imagination. She sold for $9.99 plus shipping but she was in a donation box so I didn't pay anything. She will be pretty easy to ship, pretty similar to a coffee cup. So I'm happy about it. Also, she sold pretty quickly in about two or three weeks, I think. Okay, the next item I have, this was a donation. Um, so obviously it's a Guitar Hero controller. I don't have any way to test this. It's also missing, so let me see, I wiped it down. Um, it's missing the battery compartment. And um, so I sold this for parts or repair because I don't have any way to test it, like I said. Um, it took a really long time to sell. And I think the reason is um, when I did the measurements for shipping, I didn't take it apart. I didn't know you can take these apart. I guess you can take the neck off. And I had actually received a message from somebody last week who said, hey, I'm interested in this item, but the shipping is outrageous. Did you know that you can take this apart to make it smaller so the shipping will be less and so I said okay well you know let me do that and I will update the shipping uh, measurements and everything and before I had a chance to do that somebody else bought it with the high shipping price so um, I'll probably sh figure out if I can ship it for less and if I can then I will just give them a partial refund on that so anyway this sold for $22 plus shipping and it was also a donation. So I didn't pay anything for that. Let me, where can I put this? Okay, this was also a donation. It's a Master Labyrinth game. This one is really confusing. We have the regular Labyrinth it's not called Master Labyrinth, it's just Labyrinth. Um, my kids love it. I really recommend that you get it because it's, um, it's like, has like problem solving. You've got, I got to think outside the box. It's like a puzzle sort of, it's not a puzzle, but that type of game. Um, we have a lot of fun with it. This one is much more complicated. Like my six year old can play Labyrinth. There's, I don't think he can figure this one out. This particular one is missing two pieces. So it sold for like $7, no, it sold for $8 plus shipping. But again, it was a donation. So I mean, every, every dollar adds up. Next I have this, it's called the lizard cam. You can use it to put down your pipes if you have like a clog or something and you want to see what it is I got this in a um, in a liquidation type box I spent $500 for a huge box of these and so you know the first quite a few weren't profit but I've sold most of them and so I'm in in the profit now this one sold for $22.98 plus shipping. So that whole $22.98 is, is profit for me. So that one like that. Uh, okay. This is an example of vintage kitchen stuff. I like vintage kitchen stuff. So these are the little mini blend containers. They fit on some sort of blender, I guess. Um, I got these at an estate sale for 50 cents. They sold for $9.99 plus shipping. So it's another one of those. 
it's a little sale but they add up and like I said for a, a uh, buy it by price of 50 cents why not it took it took a few months to sell yeah next is I have two boxes of these Smith Corona H21000 um, I guess this is the fail, yeah, film ribbons so this package has two in it this package only has one and I paid 25 cents each so it was a 50 cent buy cost on these and they sold for $7.99 plus shipping so on typewriter stuff you're definitely going to want to research those um, I have another lot of a, a large amount of typewriter stuff that I had received for free it was a donation and they've been listed for a long time and they're just not selling these on the other hand I have had listed for maybe a month and um, and they sold so you just never know okay I think this is the last one Okay, so in one of my previous videos, you would have seen some plates that look like these. These are like a like a sherbet dish or an ice cream dish or something. There's a set of four of them. These are a milk glass. This is called Lace Edge. These were a donation. Um, you're definitely going to want to research your milk glass because um, there is a lot of it listed on eBay and it does sell um, but especially something like this where it's like a specific style um, hobnail stuff seems to do pretty well um, so like I said you're just gonna want to research it but when it's something that, like if you got it for free and you have a store so you have the listings available I mean it doesn't hurt to try so this was a set of four of these that I sold. I think they're pretty cute. They sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Um, and so, yeah, so I love them. I love vintage kitchen stuff, but I have six kids and they break everything. So um, I don't typically buy it for myself because then I'm really sad when it gets broken. So someday when I'm older, um, maybe I'll be able to put stuff like that in my kitchen, but for now, I just have fun selling it, you know. Um, so anyway, I think that's I think that's it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven things going out today, so I need to get busy shipping those out. Um, thanks for watching. If you liked it, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe and, and tell your friends. So, thanks. Bye.